Another Uber customer has come forward to say that she had been driven by accused cab driver Shiv Kumar Yadav on the 26th of November and felt extremely unsafe all through her ride. She had complained in an email to Uber about the driver's behaviour and had been told the driver would be spoken to. Nidhi Shah's complaint had come exactly 10 days before the 27-year-old girl was raped by the same driver and raises serious questions about why he was still on Uber's rolls and being allowed to drive when there was a complaint pending against him. Tell us what happened with you when you took the cab with the man, who, with the driver now accused of rape on the 26th of November. But uh, actually, so the guy had said to me before I got in that his GPS wasn't working and I had to find him just by walking through Chani Chok. Uh, we got in, it was me and my partner and both of us were sitting, but he kept staring through the mirror and I felt a little uncomfortable, so I would hide behind so he couldn't see me. And I thought he was smiling a little creepily also. So eventually when he dropped us off, I thought I should report it to Uber. And so I just wrote a, a quick sentence before rushing into my business meeting about this guy. He seemed, I had a bad feeling about him. When you complained, what did they say to you? Actually, they said that they would leave and have somebody in operations have a chat with Shiv Kumar Yadav. Why are you saying, I wish I had done more? What more could you have done? Surely it's the, it's the company's I, accountability. I, I agree to some extent, yes. But I also feel as if people like you and me, we've gone about our day. Um, you know, we, we observe, we complain to someone and we move on. Uh, I've always felt I should be doing more. So, yeah, I wrote a little, but what I feel is I should have written a little more to take their attention.